that pull is wrong. That pull is just wrong. If you tell people they're not showing up, you're creating a self-fulfilling prophecy where you are enabling and allowing students to say, I don't have a voice in this process. I've been told I don't have a voice in this process, so I'm going to give up on it. Those same students are in the streets with so many movements, acknowledging that the system is broken, but if they bring those conversations back on a one-on-one -on -one basis, they are so often told that they are idealistic or naive. But this week, the U.S. Senate <coughs> voted to allow an arms deal to Saudi Arabia. That arm, despite the fact that those arms are being used in Yemen against a population where 17 million people are at the risk of famine, and where there's now a cholera outbreak, and the UN has said repeatedly that the armed conflict is the cause. Calling a system broken that has chosen, has chosen over and over and over again to bomb populations that have no health care, no food, is not only right and just and fair, it is informed and necessary. And that's all you need to know for the students out there who are saying that the system is broken. They are not uninformed, they are not naive, they are not too young to know, they know exactly, and they're able to call that out with the power of moral truth. Because some things just are simple. War is wrong. Nuclear weapons are wrong. And quite frankly, I think it's naive after 16 years in Afghanistan to assume that war can work. That's what's naive. They've also asked to treat young people as humans. I know I've been in a lot of rooms where there has been age tokenization, where because you are young, you are asked to speak on behalf of all young people, and I know also that I, as a white woman, have probably experienced much less of this than many other people. Um, and that needs to be addressed, because every young person comes to these battles from different backgrounds. We're, we are all coming to this room not because we are young, but because of experiences in our lives that matter. And for you, to get us to continue coming back, it has to be acknowledged that yes, we have lived less life in a number of years than many other people. But what we have lived is all that we have. It's the things that matter most to us, and they can't be pushed aside by anyone who we speak to in order to be, for us to be taken seriously, or for you to assume that we're listening to you. Our experiences, even if are not our years, are equals in every conversation that we have. And I, this is something that I, that I know I experience to this day. But it's also something that I haven't realized I've done to my own student organizers. And I didn't realize it until we had the student conference, and there was a question posed by trainers at Amnesty International, which was, what made you get involved? What was your moment of political awakening? And my students, who were about 100 students in a room, created a timeline of when they were involved. Many of them have parents who are refugees. A few have parents who have been deported. A few have been stopped on playgrounds because they were because they were black, and they said as much in their notes. A few of them have had really good teachers who went out of their way to educate them about everything that's going wrong in this world and why they might be a target. 